everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. TV. Here we have Michi Mochi V talking about two things that we're going to cover in this uh, video here. It's going to be one about having to return things that she had like uh, you know remember how in the contract it says you have to return things she felt she had to so she had to travel to return these things the next thing is going to be on uh the cuts that they get bethany may be an asshole and bethany may be stupid but bethany will never keep something that does not belong to bethany so of course. bethany contacted them bethany bethany's being like, her. where can i drop them off and they never said shit. so at that point bethany could have stolen it but no because you know what chat you know what Bethany has a very strong honor code. So, which is good for Bethany. Bethany held Slash on to that, HGV. flew all the way to where the f their job is, which is like an eight hour flight, oh, and God. returned it personally. Like, no, no one was like, From okay, Indonesia Bethany, to send Japan. it over here. And no, Bethany did that. Even though Bethany could have just stolen that thing, she could have kept it to herself. No. Bethany brought it that's with a really her, strong code. gave it back personally to the person that deserves to have this item, because that's the kind of person Bethany is. Very big honor code. So the fact That's that why someone we love assumed that Bethany would sink so low to steal something really hurt Bethany's ego, okay? If it came yeah. from someone that Bethany didn't know, perhaps it just might be a distasteful joke. But this person knew Bethany. Bethany knew this person, and that's what hurt the most. The what hurt wasn't the... They thought that she was going to keep it. They thought that she was going to steal it. They thought that that was going to be just the way that she was. The fact that, like, what hurt Bethany wasn't the fact that it's like, oh, they made a... They, they um, it's their job, you know, you they had to do this. No, what hurt was the fact that they assumed it, even though they clearly knew Bethany would never do that. Because if Bethany was the type of person to screw people over, oh, Bethany definitely could have. Mm -mm -mm. Bethany definitely could have done something. Yep. Story for children part... Volume six marks the shit you see online, right? That's just one side of the story. What Bethany experienced was a whole completely different story. A whole DLC, I dare say. And if this Damn. DLC ever came to light, yeah, you're lucky Bethany has an honor code. You're absolutely, absolutely. Because the, the little bit that we do know has screwed over Nidhi Sanji. You're lucky. So this company of yours, yes? How do they make money? And I'm like, oh, it's it, it stated right here. They, they, they take a cut from um our, um like, this part like they don't even take a you i don't know if I right here she's talking about vishojo and the cut that usually gets taken uh comparing it to her past which we all know her past with nidhi sanji i can say as well say this like every money you give me chat every money every sub it's completely a hundred percent mine oh, I that's very nice. like i get to keep everything they get to keep like in my opinion vishojo doesn't take enough like they take yeah it's just merch and sponsors and only like a small amount like it's not like we're gonna be taking 99 percent of your sponsors and merch cuts oh that's kind of ooh. That's spicy. It's not even it's not even a 2% merch cut anymore. It's 1% that they get up there. This is what she's talking about, about Bethany and Nidhi Sanji. It's not even 2%. It's 1%. No, like they take nothing. And this might sound like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. This is the first time a company has treated me like I'm a valuable person, like I'm a valuable asset. The first time I really felt like, oh, they that's want me here. Like they really want me here. My first ever time getting merch was when I debuted in Vishojo. My first ever time first getting my sponsor ever was when merch. I work in Vishojo. So uh, is it because I only stream for, oh, you, Bamichi, you've only been streaming for four months. Well, in my dream, I was stuck in that dream for like practically almost three years. <laughs> So for three years, no merch. And that's true. I checked. No merch for Mika. Uh, no sponsors for Mika. And now that she's in there for a couple of months, like four months or so, she's already gotten sponsors. She's already gotten merch. She's already gotten uh, to go to uh, various cons. She's already had meet and greets. She's had tons more than she did with Nidhi Sanji, which shows you the lack of care that they had for Indonesia. And they're doing for EN now, the lack of care for in general for any of these things. And of course, you know, the big the big ones on top are the ones that get everything. Michi was working her ass off and she didn't get anything until she moved into Vishojo. And like she said, 99% is what they would take from where her dream was. This is what she alluded to. So, of course, certain things she can't say in NDA directly, but she alluded to in her dream, which we know is Neji Sanji. This is really crazy. All right. This is what's unexpected. This was unexpected for me. I did not expect this. We have had a big issue recently with YouTube getting rid of clipping channels. And this happened live right now as I was trying to, rec you know, look at news that I've been looking at earlier today. Michi talks about working under Asian company. This a bombshell from Michi from Daily Dose of Michi Mochi V. And what do I get when I try to open the actual video? 
you get this video unavailable. The video is no longer available because the YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated. What account is this? It's Daily Dose uh, of Michimo TV. It is a um, a Clipper channel. It is this Clipper channel here. I'm going to show it to you right now, uh, live here. Well, as we look for it, this page isn't available. Sorry, try searching for something else. And this is youtube.com slash at daily dose of Michimo TV. We had this happen recently with a Shy Lily uh, clipper, someone that actually works for Shy Lily. This is someone clipping for Michimo TV. They got removed. It is another clip channel that, as far as I can tell, there was nothing going wrong with this clip channel. Nothing went wrong with the clip overall. I didn't see I didn't see them pretending that they were the the liver or impersonating anybody. I didn't see any of this. This is this is bad. This is bad. This is very dangerous for VTubers. Huge dangerous for VTubers overall. Like myself that I'm doing news. Are they going to say that I'm reusing content? Are they going to say that I'm impersonating someone else? What's going to happen here? This is a Clipper channel. This Clipper channel, I've been watching them for months already. Ever Well, ever since Michi Mochi V came out, I've been watching them. They have 3.9K subscribers. It just popped out that this happened. We were talking, I was talking about them because, you know, Michi, Michi Mochi V was having a bombshell about NDA stuff, about how, how she had to work hard in order to supposedly prop up the ID, ver uh, you know, branch. A lot of people are telling her if it wasn't for your hard work, everything would be done. And then here we go. They removed this channel. Why? I don't understand it. I don't get it. I haven't seen anything pop up. I haven't seen them pop up. I don't know who, uh, if they have a Twitter. I don't know any of that because um, a lot of these people don't have Twitters. A lot of these people um, don't have anything specifically like in in the case of uh, of this. I don't think they have. Uh, a actual Twitter. I'm going to take a look and see if I can find it for you guys. Yeah, I, I don't see their Twitter. I don't see any Twitters. If I had their Twitter, I would be able to see their responses. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I want to show you guys some of their responses, but I have not been able to find it because this is live off the presses. It's like hot off the presses. This just happened. Uh, we're going to have to see what the heck is going on. And hopefully they're able to um, to get their channel back to be able to have YouTube be like, what the heck is going on? We need to figure this out. This needs to be found out. Uh, thank you guys, of course, for always supporting me. And hopefully this doesn't happen to me. You never know what will happen with YouTube. YouTube is very strange. And right now is dark times for Clippers, it looks like. Real quick, positive thing that I always like pushing positive things. You all know this. I know this. I love pushing positive things. This is Scarla with the positivity here. Uh, acknowledge us. DJ DJ KFYE. Uh, it's Donovan DJAC. DJAC FYE. Uh, will you stream with me and Great Black Otaku and Suave Mansoor? We feel like this is a crossover content that the people are demanding. That is amazing. Do it. I don't care. Yeah, people are like, oh my god, but need to you, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. This is Scarla. This is Scarla. It's a little different. Uh, Scarla, Rosami, Petra even now. Like, all those, if they get things like this, I will be all for it. Because it is the person going and talking to their wrestling gods. You know? Great Black Otaku and Mason, Mason Madden, a.k.a. Brandon Williams, was a VTuber named Jibo. Get around WWE's ban on using third-party platforms when he was still in WWE. The ban's been lifted for a while now, however. He also was special guest commentator during Doki's WrestleTuber event. Mason and Mansoor are goaded. They both are. Scarlet's goaded as always. This is always a positive thing. I'm glad that Scarlet's getting this. Sadly, though, it's going to be up to Nidhi Sanji management, and unfortunately, Nidhi Sanji management may not do that. So Scarlet may have to go to her PL if she decides to do this. We're either going to see Scarlet colliding with WWE member, or we're going to see another liver losing a really cool opportunity, aka Pomu. I really hope it's not a Pomu situation, but I don't doubt it. The, the horrible way that Nidhi Sanji management is, I don't doubt that this is going to happen, and it makes me sad. It really does. As I've been doing lately, I want to give you some news on Sayo's situation. We heard about the thing with NOA, the fact that she is not going to be going there for now. She's in a holding pattern. She isn't fully saying she won't join them, but if they don't fix their stuff, then she's probably not going to continue with the contract negotiations. She's very smart in doing this. She's very smart in holding off because you have to make sure that they can cover the PR and not pull a freaking Niji Sanji like what they did to her as Zion. Uh, so that's the thing right now. What she's saying, though, is uh, no stream tonight. My throat is in much, so much pain. I sadly need to rest it. I'll be trying to heal ASAP and hopefully I can stream on Tuesday, at least for a quieter stream. So sorry to let you guys down. I rarely get disabled like this, so I hope you forgive me. She might have caught something in uh, China. Who knows? Because China seems kind of lax with a lot of their protections. I don't know if, if, if it happened. But um, 
being in a, in a large public spaces like that, especially in a, in a foreign nation, sometimes even just the, the change of atmosphere, like the change of actual environment in heat, uh, you know, humidity, etc., can make your body go through some weird steps and it can mess up your throat, uh, you know, because she is a, a person who goes and is an entertainer for five, six hours a night sometimes. So this is something that can hit you. And Cyrus Found Sun says, the most important thing for us synchronites is that you're okay. So take all the time you need to heal. Absolutely. You aren't letting us down, Sire. You're correct. This is rarity, so there's no reason to feel bad. There isn't anything to forgive. Thank you so much for letting us know ahead of time. Hope you'll feel better soon. And if not, it's okay. We can uh, wait to have a calmer stream. So yeah, a lot of people hope you feel better soon. Get well quickly. Uh, please take it easy. People are telling her to take it easy. And Sayu being freaking kind of like, I mean, me being like Sayu is because, you know, Sayu is much bigger than me in the sense of a hard worker, you know, doing everything I can to continue the craft, to continue doing what I'm doing and putting, you know, everything out there. She does her best. She puts 150,000% into everything. She puts a lot of energy into everything. And that, of course, uh, can sometimes hit you when you least want it to. So my hope is that she does recover soon. And she does. She is able to give the Synchronites another good stream. This is a rumor so far because it has not been uh, verified by any veracity of statements. It's just things that are happening following. People can follow anybody they want. But sometimes people, when following things, they want to make it seem like, oh, this whole thing is going crazy. You have, uh, you know, people, uh, the gun run, you know, everybody, fruit, Mount Mountain Dew, uh, generalist game arts, you know, Kesan Socho, all these other people here following. This is this person, which is Iwataki, Iwataiki, Iwataki, Iwataki, which is this person here, CEO, um, Yokaze agent, co-founder of V High Official, Gaiax X COO of any color, Nidisanji app. So this is their resume up here. So this person was an ex chief operating officer. That's what COO means, chief operating officer. Uh, and what that does, let me just say right now, the COO will act as the executor of the CEO's vision. So it's the one that, that pretty much brings the CEO's vision to life, uh, bridging long-term goals with day-to-day -day operations and enhancing decision-making and organizational performance. The excellence of their operating and efficient execution are the focus of the CEO, translating the CEO's vision into actionable steps. So they are translating the vision of the CEO into something that can actually be done. And I'm gonna put the, uh, this is the description on the screen right there. The CEO, is going to be putting the vision, the day-to-day -day administration, and the operational functions of the business. They may have left because, you know, things weren't going so well and they weren't able to do the vision the way it was meant to be. A lot of red tape, that kind of thing, is the reason why people leave as COOs. Uh, COOs move a lot more than CEOs, but it would be absolutely awesome since they're following every single member there, if they have, they might just be a collaboration instead of something else because they are the CEO of all these other things and they are co-founders of various things as well. So it may be a collaboration in the future, maybe, uh, you know, business-wise. It may be priming for business opportunities that they're looking for. May not be joining V Shoujo JP per se, but maybe collabing with them in the future. We go with the memes because you know I love the memes. Everyone knows I love the memes. They took everything from us. You took everything from me. Management and CEO be like, I don't even know who you are. Fans of Nidhi Santi VTubers say they, they took everything from me. Yeah, because like they've done very, very bad things. And um, of course you have Kurosanji with my precious. Of course they love, they love the, the YouTube play buttons. It, so much that they freaking hoard them and they don't give it to anyone else. That's why this fits. This here has caused an issue. What is this? This is if you look at it, the Kevin X Live 2D, do you have Chubby Fit Mitsuri Art Whip? The Mitsuri is uh, from Demon Slayers, the Mitsuri, whatever you want to call. This is Chubby Fit, according to him. That just looks like a regular old woman. It doesn't look chubby in any way, shape, or form. Um, and if this is chubby, then holy crap, that is really bad. Um, just on my opinion, just my opinion. This is not me trying to cater to anybody. But if that's chubby, then I am a fucking Godzilla in size. <laughs> if that's chubby, then I'm freaking Godzilla in size. I swear to God. But that's like, holy crap. That is not chubby at all. Holy moly. You have some weird ideas of what chubby is. And that is bad. That'll give women bad body image issues, honestly. And people down here are like, this body is not chubby. It's normal and healthy body. Labeling as such perpetuates harmful stereotypes and unrealistic beauty standards. I actually agree with this. I'm not all, you know, on the left side or whatever you want to call it. But this is like, this is not chubby. This is normal. This isn't even a paunch. You can hardly even see the definition of the paunch, for God's sakes. 
I'm just I'm going crazy with this. People on Twitter calling this chubby is the reason why I have body image issues and my size at small, extra small. That's true. Uh, enlarge or receive punishment. Things like this are exactly why I still get called chubby or plus size because I got a tummy pouch and wide hips. That doesn't equal chubby. Uh, I hope you fix the sizing for this. It sets a terrible example for people in the future. It's supposed to be rage bait or something. It's cute, but not chubby. It's really cute, but not chubby. Uh, he's actually specified chubby fit, but even then, this doesn't even look have anything that's chubby. It doesn't have anything that looks like chubby. And of course, we have the next part. He doubled down, tripled down, whatever you want to call it. And here we go. Different body standards exist. You're quickly projecting and enforcing your own onto others. I struggle to gain weight and my art style leans towards skinny. I think chubby is super adorable. My ideal is obviously different from yours. We all have body problems in life. I don't know you. I don't represent you, nor am I authority on your therapist. Deal with it. Well, that's, I mean, I can, I can see that. I can see that. Let's just give him, him his, th them their sides. I think it's a sheet. I'm not sure. Them, them sides. Also, I blocked you because you use slurs, attack, harass, gossip, and accuse me of R and P. Uh, your profile is filled with vowel words and you clearly don't enjoy my sense of humor. Here's your explanation. Go check the boxes yourself. So my soldiers, stay tuned. More epic content. Uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. What I'm about to do with this character. So yeah, you have these type of things. 2022, 2024. The fit is different. The fit is a bit different. It, she's thick. If anything, she's thick. If anything, with the with the with the, the the hips and everything, I would say she's thick. She's thick, boy. I would say that. I would say that kind of thing. Oh, that's kind of cringy. I'm sorry. I cringe a little bit at just seeing that. Being someone who's chubby myself, IRL. I didn't personally take offense to the original post. I do understand why some people didn't like your replies. However, I think people were very unnecessarily cruel. That's the thing. I will give that. Yes, that isn't chubby by my standards. That isn't chubby by my standards. Like I said, if that's chubby, I'm fucking Godzilla. So that's the thing. But never harass. Don't bully. Don't send threats. Don't accuse people of being RMP. Don't accuse people of these types of things because that makes you lose. That makes you lose the plot. That makes you lose the argument. Any argument you would have had for body standards and whatever goes out the door once you start putting these words in people's mouths of R and P and, you know, wanting to do all these types of nasty things to people. It becomes really bad. It does become really bad. And I agree with Strop. Uh, like, I also realize the world's uh, fit isn't attached to it. Plus, people, the word chubby chubby mean different things. Of course, people are going to mean different things. And let's see the last part here. This art convinced me. I officially surrender. I love it. It's about time people learn what chubby really means, Hina. This is a respectful one. This is a respectful one. And the man has decided to, yeah, just accept. Yes, there's different ideas of chubby. And this is what is more traditionally seen as chubby. And chubby ain't bad. Chubby's good. Chubby's okay. Chubby's like, it's normal. Especially nowadays, the way society is with the high fat foods and stuff. It's absolutely normal. Like I said, if that woman was chubby, I'm freaking Godzilla. I'm freaking the size of a planet compared to that. So would you ever, uh, would you ever try to update from your last model of Mitsuri to this? Question of mine, really wanting to push the drama, so at least fun parts of the discussion. Could be a fun toggle, yeah. Chubby physics incoming, extra luxury, luxury jiggle physics. So a little bit of a redemption arc right there for him. We saw from the from the evil to the redemption arc is what people called it. But dearly, Jesus, people just like sending verbal abuse towards others. And I don't appreciate that. That's one thing I don't appreciate. We have some bad news. This was a bit expected in the Nexus side because, of course, not everyone is going to be able to make it in general. And remember, the people who don't make it doesn't mean they're weak, doesn't mean anything like this. For example, in this case, it was pure just bad timing. It was something personal that popped up. Whether it be personal finances or whether it be a personal situation, they have to take care of family, that type of thing. Uh, this uh, Jelly Blooms seem to have been a very sweet and very kind VTuber overall. Let's look at their, their entire thing. They, they were a part of the Nexus project. They were, you know, they started out in uh, April 2024. They had a short time. Of course, having, you know, everyone be able, they even had some debut 2.0s for things. So, you know, they're, they're, a lot of these people are wanting their best doing their best to create a loving and caring atmosphere for the people who follow them and also a, a nice community for themselves as every single VTuber wants that nice community going forward. I do wish them the best, but let's read what they say. As of today, I'm stepping down from Nexus due to personal reasons. This was not an easy decision. If I felt there were a way for me to stay here with you all, I promise I would have. My time with you has been a gift. I'll treasure always and I will miss you all dearly from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for everything. Please remember to take care of yourselves and look for the joy each day brings. That's what I try to bring you guys to, to remind you that each day brings a lot of joy. My hope is that the days going forward for them bring tons of joy, bring tons of happiness. Yes, we remember Nexus, who is supposed to be kind of like the VTA Academy of, um, of Nidisanji. They have really bad PR. 
in the sense that they the, the message wasn't uh, portrayed correctly, the message wasn't displayed correctly, but still, uh, for a lot of people, this type of almost battle royale style thing that, of course, these academies end up being, uh, like the VTA Academy is kind of that way. A lot of people don't, they flunk out of the VTA Academy from Niji Sanji. They just don't make it. So you're going to have a large dropout rate from all that because of the fact that uh, if people are putting as much effort as like, for example, I am or others are putting like, you know, daily uploads, uh, you know, several videos, that type of thing, then it becomes a lot. It can take away from your job. It can make things very, very tough for anybody. So I can absolutely understand why they would no longer want to be a part of this. And personal reasons like personal finances, like I said, family situations, whatever it ends up being can cause them to leave. And as I've always said, whether or not they are part of an agency that is good or bad, I wish the talents themselves the best possible because they're the ones doing the hard work not the agencies a lot of times they're the ones putting their necks out there and they're the ones trying to give their community the best that they ever can have and this person jelly lumiora lumiora lumen seems to have done that for their fans because i can see from the responses that they're getting that um these people loved this creator and they wanted them to continue so the best of luck to them and i hope that their community can see them in the future and I hope that if they do reincarnate, people will find them again. Height is, of course, being the GOAT to, uh, for, for Doki and everything that's going on. Height, a huge shout out to I by Power and Height for paying for the entire surgery for PC San. They've been so supportive of me and commit to helping out in the future upgrades and PC issues. Please support them as much as they can. We're saying PC San is out of the hospital now getting a CPU motherboard transplant. You won't die on me like PC Kun. I don't have a sponsor for the funeral yet. Of course, Doki, we're here for you anytime. And in the follow up tweet, she said PC San says, I had the Intel card, which is basically an Intel uh, motherboard, Intel uh, CPU. As if for those who don't know and aren't in the know, Intel CPUs are having huge issues right now with uh, stability, um, with degradation, which means that they're, they're getting wasted a lot quicker than they should. All that kind of stuff is hitting them hard right now. And that is something that um, if you're not in the computer scene, you won't know. But it is something that is going on right now. Uh, and she is switching over to AMD which even though AMD has its own issues, uh, they have less issues. A life it is not... Yeah. Shika no ko no ko no ko kosh tan tan. Yeah, shika no ko no ko no ko kosh tan tan. Oh yeah, okay, my friends and I have been talking about the Intel issues. The truth makes sense. Way too proactive. Yeah, it's better to be proactive. Just get rid of the Intel thing for now until things get better and then worry about the other stuff that's going on. You know what I mean? And she has a sponsor in iBuyPower Height, which is of course going to support, uh, do support for her because they recently gave it to her. So it's all under warranty and they're actually paying for everything, which is amazing. Like I have an old, like five-year-old AMD system and it's it's still uh, trustworthy. So that's why I haven't changed anything. I was thinking of going to Intel, but with the recent ring bus issues and things like that that are happening, I'm staying with Team Red for now. Welcome everybody to today's VTuber Showcase, where we of course try to showcase any and all VTubers who wish to kind of get a new uh, breath a fresh air someone to take a look at them someone to see who they are and giving back to the vtuber community that has given so much to me now today we're talking about aluminum or aluminum uh as their uh, vtuber name uh they don't have any specific pronouns they are a full-time vtuber there there is in their free so you can choose whichever pronouns you want for them uh they aren't a full-time content creator and they aren't a loot creator they are more someone that does art as we can see here in their YouTube channel, uh, they also have a right now their Twitter is locked because they were getting way too many bot follows. And as you know, if there are too many bots following you on any platform, you can uh, run awry of the TOS and they can get you in trouble. Their introduction is their uh, viewers also call them Alu sometimes. They're an artist. Current VTuber body is of an original character of mine called Ali, which I drew and rigged myself. They are a tiger black cat themed character. They have not shared lore publicly. And that will be coming at a future date. I'm also slowly working on a new VTuber concept, totally not related to the actual thing called Aluminum. Basically, you know, they're working on, on a whole different concept. Uh, YouTube and we return to Twitch one day. Their Twitch um, is open, but as it set, shows, there's not not anyone, not any actual streams going on there. Uh, this name is here because I think they're just trying to figure themselves out, which is perfectly fine. Making videos about topics that I enjoy, mainly art so far. I'd like to cover other indie sub kinds of subjects too, such as VTubers and what else piques their interest. Um, they don't have any specific stream schedule. They're just kind of posting things as they want, which makes perfect sense. Uh, last stream that they had was this NTW chapter thing, which was uh, 
two hours, two hours long, and it was 13 days ago. It depends on, uh, you know, everybody when they want to mesh well and everything like that with people, they can do some uh, collabs during that time. They do want to continue making more content and they want to expand the skills that they have, which is great. As long as you keep growing, it's your path is going to be an amazing one. Uh, they're all with, they're withdrawn from communities of the topics I'm interested in. Uh, they're very shy, just like I am. I'm very shy. You wouldn't know it by everything that I do right now, but I am very shy. Very surprised and very grateful for the viewers that started sticking around the channel like I am. I'm super I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have what I have. And that's why I try to pass the blessings on to others. Of course, thank you so, so much. Let's take a look at their Juno Calico, their 3D, uh, the VTuber showcase. Remember, they rigged this themselves. They have done way more than I've ever done when it comes to this. Like their ears move. They're, this is really well done. Um, Juno Kaliman Kalimanko, Twitch, Illustration, Selexi, Live 2D. They did the Live 2D rigging. They rigged it themselves. Uh, the illustration is Select City. And it's BGM Stream Cafe Music. It is for a you know another VTuber that they were helping out. So that is just giving you a little bit idea of what they do, a little bit of idea of what they put on their their uh, their channel. And thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase today. And I hope that this helps you grow a little bit more, or at least brings you into the forefront of a lot of people's eyes. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.